hello guys welcome back to my channel i am ashley and i'm here with you today to plan in my happy planner memory planner for january the 7th through the 13th now this is an interesting memory plan with me because it hasn't happened yet so it's hard to record memories that have not yet happened and so it's going to be a little bit tricky for me to pre-plan in here it doesn't make a lot of sense i know but i have a baby coming and i just had a doctor's appointment today and at my doctor's appointment today, I have dilated two centimeters in a week and I have um, thinned out up to 50% of face. And so my doctor seems to think that it's going to happen sooner rather than later and we probably won't even have to induce. So just because I know that a lot of women can walk around three centimeters dilated a long time and it's thinned out and everything else and that's fine I might as well no you don't ever know everybody's different every pregnancy is different every woman's body is different but I've never been dilated before they induced with either of the kids and now I am actually progressing and so that's what makes him really think that he's gonna he's getting ready to come so with that being said, I want to pre-plan as much as humanly possible so that I still have videos and so that I can write in my planner. Um, I'm not going to feel like I can record my inside of my planner and write down these memories and do all of these fun things. I'm going to be itching to do it and I'm not going to be able to if I don't pre-plan or else it's not going to be filmed. And so with all of that being said, I'm going to use this gorgeous kit. Um, it is from Glam Planner. And I love it. I really love it. I'm also probably going to use this double box, even though, you guys, this is obviously not my skin tone. Do not make fun. I think she's gorgeous, and I love the color of her skin, so I'm probably still going to use it, even though that's obviously not me sitting there. That's okay. It doesn't have to be me. It's just a pretty girl, and I think I'm going to use it anyway. So, with that being said, I have pulled some other stickers as well. I don't know if I'm going to use the double box, just because I don't know if I want to take up that much room. So I'm not positive if I want to use it or not. I think we're just going to kind of see. So, <sighs> with all that being said, I'm out of breath. And I did pull some washi to go with this as well. And I like it. So, yeah, we're going to get started. We're going to use this. We're going to go with it. Um, so I'm going to start with my bottom washi. That's usually what I start with. And I have white out, you guys. And I'm so excited about this white out. My husband thought I was a crazy loon for being so excited about white out. But you guys, of course I was excited about the white out. I've been waiting on it forever. And it finally came. And he opened the box like, what has she ordered? What is this? He's trying to be nosy. And then when he opened it and it was white out, I think it was a total letdown for him. I think he was hoping it was baby related. And when it wasn't, he was just kind of like, um, okay, white outs, like really? And I was like, oh, that's my white out. And he was like, wow, you're weird. He was calling me weird for being excited about white out, but he just doesn't understand, does he? So this is kind of blue and kind of black like there's some black in here but there's also like a navy color as well it's like both and so yeah you can like see the tones in here so there's kind of both but I'm also going to use I think I want to use these strips of washi as well and I think I'm gonna so kind of just see um, I think I'm gonna use this I don't know I might hmm. hmm I don't want it to go there and I don't know if I want to use it right above there but I think I do um, anyways, my doctor's appointment was interesting today because you guys, I don't want to have my kid at home and you, I, some of you have said, like, I think you said it in a pregnancy, 
um, update video that I did. Um, like you were saying, Ashley, um, you can be like dilated and it not mean that you're going into labor anytime soon. And I know that. And you guys weren't being mean about it like you were just saying. I totally know that. But the reason why I'm making a big deal about it is because I have never been dilated before it's actually time for me to go to, into labor before. And every time, like even with heavy contractions, I'll be having false labor contractions that are that they're saying, oh my gosh, you're going to be in labor anytime. And it doesn't happen. Um, I've never been dilated. Like I just don't progress at all. And I've never been actually dilated. Um, I mean, the doctor, even with those heavy contractions and stuff and them thinking that I was going at any time, they were like, yeah, um, you, um, you maybe, maybe a half of a centimeter if I, if I really push and I'm like, okay, so I've never been like this before. And I, progress so quickly like once my body decides that it's time for me to have a baby with both babies I just progress so quickly and so that's why I'm a little bit nervous it just makes me a little nervous because I do live 30 minutes away from the hospital and my hubby works about 15 minutes away from here and I have both of the boys I have Jaren this weekend so I'll have all three boys and it's just a little bit nerve wracking just because of how fast I progress. And that's really the only reason why I'm like making any kind of big deal about it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. It would be like, okay, well, if he comes, he comes. If he does it, he doesn't. But with all of those things combined, it just makes me a little bit nervous. Not much, but a little at you know, not knowing when he's going to be here because that can be stressful. And obviously I don't want to have my baby in the house with a bunch of children <laughs> to help me <laughs> come help mommy deliver the baby. Like, you know, I think that might be just a little bit traumatic for a six and two year old <laughs> and eight year old. Um, and I don't want that. So I um, it just makes me a little bit nervous just because of how fast I progress when it does finally make up its mind that it's happening. And so we're just going to see. And, you know, I don't want him to come until he's ready. But I would like for him to come when I can maybe control it a little bit better. <laughs> maybe, you know. I mean, I would obviously like for it to be planned a little bit instead of a complete surprise just so I can be prepared. And, you know, planner control freak. Like, there's a reason why I'm a control freak. So, yep. Yes, sorry. Okay. So, I am going to put a full box in the sidebar. And I think, you guys, that I am going to put... Let's see, I, I pulled a full box because I don't know that I want, and it has gold, and all of this is mostly silver, so I'm trying to decide, do I want to use that, or, because see, there's gold here, and like her skin is kind of golden, so I don't feel like it's that big of a deal to mix the um, metals, but this one here is like foiled gold and so it's a little bit like and so I don't know I was thinking of using this one right here this is the one and so you see it's like really gold and all of this is so silvery like the blue and the silver so I don't know I think I might just use the girl and just deal with the fact that it's a double box because that's okay it's not that big of a deal okay so with that being said I think I'm going to use the girl for the sidebar because I'm going to use her over on the other side so I think I'm going to use her right up here just like this and I'm so excited about my Tombow Whiteout you guys you can order this off Amazon but I had a Target gift card and it was a really good price on 
at Target. Um, it ended up being, I don't even know, like $11 for like a bunch of them. I can't even remember how many it came with, but it was a lot. And so I was really excited about it and I love this white out. So I did get a comment on my other video, which I will answer, but it was asking like where I get my white out. And I buy my white out just random places before now. Um, I've used just regular white out and I use it from the Dollar Tree as well, but just because I'm, I, well, I haven't been lately, but I usually shop at the Dollar Tree so much and, um, it sucks. <laughs> like uh, the last couple of batches I've gotten have just been so bad. So I will not be purchasing that from there anymore. I just don't like it. It's not my cup of tea and I will not be purchasing that anymore from the Dollar Tree. It just, it hasn't worked for me the last couple of times that I got it and it, I've just had horrible experiences with the stupid whiteout just not working. So yeah, we won't be buying Dollar Tree whiteout, but I'm set on whiteout for quite some time because I did buy like a big pack of it. I don't remember, like I said, how many were in the pack, but it is a good bit. And so I'll be fine for a while. And it is so much smoother than anything I've ever used before. So this is Tombow whiteout. And I know so many planner girls who use it and love it. And it is, it's just, just really smooth. It goes on really well. And I love it. And my hubby was like being so nosy and opening up my package. And it cracked me up to see his face about the whiteout. Okay. So let's see. <laughs> okay. He's been wild today, you guys. I actually had to wake him up for the doctor's office this morning for us to go to the doctor. And he has been a wild man since we got home. So far, he has fallen into a basket. Mm -hmm. oh, dang it, Ashley. Now oh, it's crooked the other way. He has fallen into a basket. And I hope he... <laughs> he has fallen into a basket and scratched his stomach and then he has they were chasing each other and he fell and hit the fireplace with his head so yeah it has not been good okay i'm probably going to put some deco out here at the bottom hey killian can you go in your room and play with those Go in your room and play with those, okay? Mom. Tristan wants to play with them too. Hold on. My tummy hurts. Your tummy hurts. <laughs> You're okay. Are you talking about this? Yeah. It's okay. I'm sorry, Stinker. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Go show Tristan, Aquaman. Yeah. Go show Tristan. I'm trying to encourage him to go into his room, but I don't think it's working very well. Um, he's just been wild and crazy, and he's going to throw me into labor because I'm going to freak out so much with how bad he is hurting himself and being nuts. So... He might just help Alaric say hello early. <laughs> what is it, darling? I have to be back. I'm so sorry. That's why you have to be careful, baby. Here. I don't have anything in here. It's empty. Here you go. You've got juice on the table. Okay. So... Since I don't really know what's going on this week, including if my child is going to come this week or not, I don't know. I can't decide what feeling I have about it. With all the cramping and hurting I've been doing. Okay, I have no idea what my train of thought was because he was, apparently his apple juice was gone off of the table and he needed some more. Okay, 
he is in horrible need of a nap. But <sighs> anyway, so I don't really know what this week is going to entail. And like I was, I think I was saying, like, I don't know exactly the way I'm feeling about it. I feel like with all the cramping that I've been having, it could possibly happen, you guys, that I have him early. And if I do, that is okay. If I don't, that is okay. I'm not worried about it. Either way, he'll come when he's ready. It's fine. I just wish I knew a little bit better because it's really hard to plan, especially when you have like, um, when you have kiddos and when your kiddo is in school and all of that, like it's, it's really hard to plan. Um, it's, it's hard to plan out your schedule and, and who's going to watch him and who's going to bring him to school and who's going to go get him and who's going to do all this stuff while you're in the hospital when you don't know when you're going into the hospital to begin with. So it's frustrating. I'm going to leave this blank as usual because I am going to journal in there and then I think I will do a full box. Let's see, what full box do we want? I think I will do the window here. And I'm just going to keep it really simple in that I'm going to put this at the bottom and Maybe not this one because that full box is really dark for that one. Maybe I'll use a lighter gray. Yeah, that's better. And then um, that can be for whatever happens that night. And I'll probably do that all the way across and be boring. I don't do that very often, but I don't know what's going to happen. So... Let's just do that all the way down. Go ahead and get that done. And they're so crooked. -y. Like, you guys, I'm so bad at getting stickers straight. Like, why? Why do I suck at it so badly? Obviously, I do. Um, I just... I want to know when he's coming, y'all. It's driving me bonkers. And it's driving my hubby bonkers, which is driving me even more bonkers. <laughs> I'm going to use this guy here. Maybe not. Maybe I'll use one of these strips again. Because I really like this, like, spotty... Thing and I can put any icon down or just leave it as like a little page break right there. So that will work. And then I think before I move on to Tuesday, I'm going to go ahead and put this deco down before I forget. I'm really, I'm kind of hoping that he comes this week, you guys, but... I'm not trying to rush him. I just, like, I'm just ready. I It's really hard with this, like, slowly progressive, like, slow progression because um, it's painful. <laughs> and there's, like, no, um... predicting it at all and so it's just like holy crap you know it's just really hard to deal with so so I can pretty much put all of these icons away to save so I'm not going to use any of these because I don't know exactly what's going to happen so I'm just going to set that sheet aside um and then I'm going to go all forward with these guys and just put one on each night here he comes again 
What you doing? I got a pee. Oh, he's got a pee. How nice. You guys, there's never a dull moment on my plan with me. It's never a dull moment on my channel because I have multiple boys. And do they have their own bathroom? Yes, they do. This is my bedroom. They have their own bathroom. But do they feel the need to come to mine every single time? Yes, they do. I don't know why, but they sure do. So yeah, it's just kind of how it works. Okay. Okay. I don't know why he's being clingy, but he most certainly is. And while that is okay, it is not okay right now because mommy is very busy. And I don't know why he's being that way because his brother was being so sweet and wanting to play with him and they were doing stuff together. And now, all of a sudden, he is being, I think it's because he's sleepy and he doesn't want to fall asleep. So he's trying to like use me as his entertainment to keep him awake. <laughs> This is usually how it works. <laughs> Which is really funny. Okay, now I have a dilemma. And this is why I wanted to use that other box. My dilemma is because I, if I use the double box, then I still have this really cute one that I want to use with the little sweatshirt. And I don't have anywhere for it to go because this double box is going to take up all the room. And that's why I didn't want to use, use it to begin with. But at the same time, like I don't have any brown in here, so I can't use that. I think I'm just going to use this. And if you guys are yelling at me because you think it looks like crap, then I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> and I think I'm going to use it. If I can pull this up again. Ah, it's not wanting to. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we'll just use it on Sunday. And I think I'm going to use it. Use. This one instead. I know. It doesn't completely match. But you know what? I'm using it anyway. And I need my weekend banner first. Because I just, I really want to use that other box. And I can't, I feel like I can't use them both. Because it's not going to look right. Where is, what am I looking for? Oh, my weekend banner. There it is. It's like, what is going on here? Why can I not find this? And I feel like I should use something underneath. So maybe this coffee washi under there. I think that his brother must be playing Nintendo. I have to monitor that closely, you guys, because if I don't, he'll be playing Nintendo all the time, and that is just not okay in our house. <laughs> don't allow them to become robots who play games all the time and I think that's what his brother's doing that's probably why he's like hey mom be my entertainment because my brother is being lame and playing silly video games and I can't play that right now so help but he is okay now I just feel like this is going to make it so out of place because it's like the oddball. Maybe I can pull this one off. Not very well, but I think I can deal with it. Alright, I think this will be better than the, what I was doing before. I mean, I don't 
hate it. It's not my favorite in the whole wide world. The whole world that is wide, but it is not my least favorite either. I think it's okay. And then I think that I am going to use a double box and that's another reason why I didn't want to use that box because I only have five checklists. And so I think I want to use this one here. And so I didn't want to use two double boxes on the weekend. And I should have whited that out because you can totally see it underneath this. But I'm not used to having white out in my because I haven't had it in so long. And the white out that I did have was totally jankety. Okay, so I'll use that one and then this little cute sweater. I like that. Let's see if I can move this at all. I know, I'm being so cruel to these stickers and they don't want to move. They're like, um, you sat me down, sweetie. Like, you sat me down and now you're trying to move me. I am so sorry. Okay. So, <clears throat> there's that. And then I'm just going to put these mm. I um I know that's like a lot of that polka dot but I wish that I knew a little bit more of what was going to happen, but I would much rather have videos for you guys and feel like I can just jot things down in here and it's already done and there's no pressure. I don't know. There's just a lot of advantages that are going to come with pre-planning in here that I... I just feel like it's okay to do it this way um, just for that reason just because I feel like it's going to be so much of an advantage to be able to just go ahead and write some things down in here when I when I can and not have to feel like I have to film to be able to memory plan um, and I want to be able to share them with you because I have such beautiful kits to use and so <clears throat> I want to use them and I want to show you them as I'm using them so I feel like you see what I'm saying I feel like it's just smart to go ahead and pre-plan and that it's okay if I don't know exactly what's gonna happen that's okay um, I can just kind of write it as I go, and that's fine. So, that's what I'm doing, in case you didn't already know. I felt the need to explain it to you. And that should be Joshua's off day. It just depends on when, if Alaric tries to come early, um, and what days he'll be off at the hospital depends on if he's actually off on that day. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We don't know for certain, but it should be, it should be about right. And then this is a little heart flag that I love. I think I will use another of these strips. Oh, no, I won't. No, I won't, because it's right there, too. So I think I will just use this guy. And then I will use. Um, I 
feel bad because there's not enough pink. There's like pink in this kit as well, but there's not, it doesn't have a lot of it. Mm. This one right there, and use this quarter box right here. All right, there's that, and then maybe I'll use funny because I'm left-handed, so I use it a little bit differently than everyone else, and I forgot to put my today header. <clears throat> Heather, where are you? I bet Killian's falling asleep. I hope he is. Lord, do I hope he is because he really needs a nap. And this would be a good time for him to go to sleep and still be able to sleep tonight. So I'm really hoping that I'm going to go in there. And he's gonna be passed out. That's what my hope is. Now, do I think that it's happening? I don't know. He is really quiet, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. It could just mean he's up to no good. And then when I walk in there, it's gonna be a disaster. And I'm gonna be like, holy cow. <laughs> just depends. Okay. All right, there's that. And then, um, crap, look what I have done. I haven't left any room for my checklist, and that's really not okay. I just keep messing up this poor little sticker. This sticker's going to be mad at me like, good grief. I'm so sorry. I'm just messing up your world. I completely apologize. I do like pre-planning because I can just jot down as the week goes by. I really like that as opposed to doing it afterwards because I have a problem like recording what happened that day and keeping up with it. You know what I mean? Oh, I hate that. That checklist is right next to it. Holy moly. But the full box is going to be next to it if I don't do this way. Grrr. Oh my goodness. This is why I need to order undo. So now that I've gotten good um, white out, now I need undo. <laughs> now I need to order some undo. Because I've never owned it before and I know that I need it as much as it is. As much as I literally cannot, for the love of all things, put a sticker down straight. And I also can't make up my dang mind about things. Like, I change my mind all the time. I need undo. Like, that was made for me. Undo was just made for people like me. And I need it. So, that's going to be what I order next. <laughs> so, now I'm going to have two half boxes next to each other. So, that's going to suck too. But we're just going to kind of see how we can work this. I like the way you work it. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Oh, dirt. I don't even know if you can see these subtle little pink hearts, but I can, and they're really cute. And they're supposed to be pink in the kit, and once, like, once I put all of these icons and things in, you'll be able to really tell a lot more about the pink. 
but as of right now, you just can't tell it as much. And so it's like this random pink here and this random pink header. So you're like, what the heck? But you'll be able to see it better once I put some of those icons in. And so it'll look a bit more cohesive <laughs> with the rest of the pops of pink. They're so subtle that it's just kind of like, what? There's pink. So I'm trying to put this washi with these little pink hearts because it adds little pink touches here and there. And it just kind of helps add the pink in there and then when I put the little icons in there it won't be such a shock <laughs> it'll make more sense so that's what I'm trying to do in case you were wondering because I'm sure you were just burning with wonder about it your curiosity was just dying to know why I keep putting this little thin pink washi everywhere but it's in there we just we just haven't put a lot in it yet and so once i start filling this out more of the pink will start to come in and so i just want to add some here and there okay so i think that's going to be it you guys i think this is going to be it for this week so could we have a baby by the end of the week yes we most certainly could and um, this is what I have left from the actual kit so this will all be used during the week and then I will probably use a few of these labels if not I will just keep them for a different spread usually I keep them for my personal planner and then all I have left of this is the is this long strip so I will probably just move this over here and keep these two sheets in the planner so that I can use them throughout the week. Okay, so I am going to put holes in this and hopefully I will just video a little clip of the finished spread for you and that will probably be after baby I hope but if not then we'll still show you the end result of what it looks like. Okay, so this ha is how it ended up turning out. Um, so we did have Alaric this week. <laughs> this is when he came into the world and he was born on Thursday. So a little bit of a summary for this week. Um, what ended up happening is I cleaned on Monday. I probably did a little bit too much cleaning, but I was okay. I was just having some contractions um on Tuesday I was really having some contractions and I was like okay I'm really uncomfortable I couldn't sleep I didn't sleep at all these two days um I was just awake um and having contractions and uncomfortable and pretty much in the bathtub on and off all night because that's the only thing that seemed to help and then I had a doctor's appointment on Wednesday um and when I went home, I was cramping a lot. Um, I walked around a lot, did some squats. Um, and then lo and behold, started having some really bad pelvic pain and a lot of cramping. So we ended up going to the hospital. We went to the hospital on Wednesday night. And then uh, we got there about, I don't know, like 6.30. And then he was born at 3.27 on Thursday morning. He was 7 pounds, 2 ounces, 20 inches long. And of course, I didn't sleep at all in the hospital. Um, and then his brothers came on Friday. That's when he met his brothers and they met him. Um, and my niece came, my mom, my sister, and my brother and sister-in-law. They all came to visit him on this day. And then on this day, we were supposed to go home in the morning. He ended up not getting his circumcision until the morning of this day. And so we didn't get to go home until 6 p.m. Um, it took quite some time for us to go home. So he had his circumcision. Everything went perfect. They were only supposed to observe him for a little while. And it ended up taking so many hours because they had like surprise deliveries and all this stuff was happening. It was a busy weekend for babies. So then on Sunday was our first family day all day. Um, and then on this box right here, I put um, what I'm most thankful for for the week. That's what I do. And so so I put for Monday my body because my body was not very comfortable, but I was thankful for it and what it can do. Now, Tuesday, God's creation because you need to be thankful that you can carry a baby. So um, W strength, Wednesday strength because whew, it was a 
it was a rough labor, um, especially in the beginning because I was early, so they couldn't give me any pain meds until they documented fully for a few hours that I was in active labor. So that's how that worked. Thursday, Alaric. We're thankful for Alaric. Um, Friday, our family. Saturday, our little family. So our extended family, our little family, and Sunday, our home, because we were happy to be there. And then this is when I just put a little bit of a synopsis. So yes, this is how this week um, um, turned out. It is amazing. I love it. I love the black and white. I love everything about it. And so, yeah, that's how this week turned out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Like, comment, and subscribe if you are not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.